All right. Hi everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Twitch Solves ASL. So, today we have an IMO5 which asks for all pairs of integers a and b such that a to the b squared equals b to the a. So, um, I'm pretty tired and I'm mostly going to let the t chat carry me. So, although, so what we're going to first do is we're going to say. Every integer, let t denote the set of non-perfect powers. Then every integer is uniquely of the form like t to the n for some t and t, and n positive integer. Unless it's one. Okay, so well, let's just throw out one. A equals b equals one word. Solution, ignore, henceforth, Assume a b greater than one. Okay, so let a equals if a equals s to the power of m and b equals t to the n, then this equation is given explicitly by, let's see, s to the m times b squared equals t to the n times, well, we'll, we'll substitute in b. Let me, let me follow this through because I want to see what happens. This feels almost too good to be true because it tells me that a and b are powers Am I crazy? Is this, this seems like a little too good to be true. Uh, but it like seems to suggest that A and B should have the same quote-unquote base. Really? I, I guess it's just that you're dividing out the GCD of the... Okay, so... Hence, S equals T. And we have, uh, <laughs> okay, now we have this, um, so A and B are powers of, like, you, you pick some T in capital T, you'll have the same power right now, they're supposed to satisfy this equation, um, M and N are random integers. Yeah, it looks like M over N is a power of T, for sure. So... In fact, it's like given exactly by... Okay, so we can let like... So m is still a random integer, but now n is exactly like t to the e m for some e, and 2 times t to the e m minus m is equal to e. Or uh, e plus m equals 2 t to the e times m. Yeah, this feels like there's no way that is going to be true. Unless, like, it could be e equals zero, actually. Uh, oh, actually, e could be negative. So, okay, th things are a little stranger. But we can, yeah, we can let n is t to the em. Uh, e could be negative, but this is always... t to the em is always promised to be an integer. So, if e is greater than... So uh, th this is actually pretty bad. So if E is positive, A equals B to the X or B equals A to the X. What? Okay. 
I'm gonna I wanna finish chasing this because I wanna see what happens. But I suspect that we are probably actually pretty close to done. Um Yeah, so if E is greater like this this should also just do it. So E of greater than zero, uh then two to the E times M is definitely bigger than E plus M. Because it's bigger than 2e times m greater than e plus m. Yeah. That, that's a true statement. If e equals 0, we have um, m equals n. And actually, m equals 2m contradiction. That's, so that's actually not good. What if e is less than 0? If e is less than 0, then 2t to the e... Well, let's say if e is less than negative 1, then 2t to the e m will always be strictly less than m... ish. I think e equals minus 1 is probably the most interesting case. Um... Okay, so if e is less than or equal to negative 2, I want to say this is always true. It might barely not be true, actually. Um... It's, it's, it's definitely, I think it'll die if E is less than or equal to negative 3. Um, 16 comma 2 works? Okay, we finally found it. Uh, that's 4 comma 1, right? That corresponds to T equals 2. Yeah, E equals minus 2. Cool. So it's still within what I have. Yep, so apparently we have 2 over T squared times m equals m minus 2. And if m e was minus 1, we have this equation. So I want to solve both these, both of these for over integers. And I don't think there should be solutions for e at work less than or equal to negative 3, because then this is at least m over 4, and also m needs to be at least t to the e. T to the minus E. Yeah, it's 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 actually quite the the signs are super confusing. <laughs> but uh let me make sure I got that right. If E is super negative Nope, I missed the slide, this should be a minus E. But this is certainly true.
2 to the minus e minus 2. Okay, so that's fine. All right, so that leaves us just, yeah, this is definitely okay. So we have two Dalfan things. We just need to solve both. These two Dalfan things, I just need to solve both of them. Um, they should be pretty routine to solve. So 2m equals tm minus t. So if I solve for, I want to solve for m or t. Mm. What's better? I'll... Let's solve for m because I think that t is probably 2 in every solution. So m is equal to uh, t over t minus 2. This is promised to be an integer. Uh, wait, did I screw that up? tm equals 3, 3, or tm equals, so t equals 4 is technically not allowed, but I expect this, I didn't, I don't think I really use this fact, so I expect it to give me a solution anyways. Um, Yeah, I definitely want to solve for m and not t. So m is equal to Okay, so this is t squared t squared minus two. So this only happens if t squared minus two divides four. Yeah, sorry, this is the same equation, except t has been replaced with t squared. So for t squared minus 2 to divide 4, you need t squared equals 3, which is not possible. t squared equals t equals 2, which is possible. So t equals 2 and m equals 1, or m equals 2. Yeah, so it's the same equation, actually. Wait, I could have solved, but that means I could have just solved for t to the e to begin with. Is no? Uh, oh, I see. There's there's the E pops up here, I guess, is what's happening. Eh, whatever. So I probably did a bit of unnecessary work. But... Four, six. Okay, so that means the only solution is like given by this one. This one doesn't technically count, but it's the same as that. So m equals 2, t equals 2, e equals minus 2, gives uh, Someone extract the answers for me. <laughs> ah. 9, 3. There's, no, there's a third because we got three. Yeah, is it nine comma MN? Okay, I'll work this out slowly. Like this one gives a solution and then these two are solution, like the same solution. We can technically throw this one out. So three, three is M equals three, T equals three, N equals uh, one. Yeah, so this is the nine, three. Or sorry, three comma nine. And the other one is T 
16. No, not. not what is what is it? T equals three. M equals three. N equals T to the E times M. So N equals nine. Three cubed, three to the nine. Wait, it's that big. No, er, ah. Three twenty-seven, three. Yeah, there we go. Uh, this would be 16 comma 2. Yeah, calculations hard. <laughs> I'm glad this is a situation where like the... Uh, all the steps like throughout the entire solution, every step is reversible. So I know if there's a pair here that corresponds to the solution. And I just need to not mess up in calculating <laughs> what it is. T equals 3, M equals 3, A equals T to the M, right? So it's just, yeah, I should just be able to write it down. 27, 3. And then 16, 2. Doesn't 2, 2 work? Does 2, 2 work? No. I don't think it does. Uh, yeah, and also, well, I wrote A equals B was 1 here already. I was doing just A equals B greater than 1. I did not forget about that. <laughs> 1, 1. Alright, we did it!